Hello and welcome back to another installment of the BATCO Lab video. In this video we will continue our look inside of nano indentation. As you saw in our initial video, nano indentation is a very useful technology for measuring material properties on extremely small scales. With a displacement resolution of 0.2 nanometers and a load sensitivity of 1 nano newton, the indenter in our NAT lab can make hardness and modulus measurements on both very small and very sensitive materials. For macro and micro scale hardness testing, a common method is the Vickers method. In this method, a Vickers tip is used to apply force to the material. We see the Vickers tip here. In Vickers measurement, the contact area of the indenter is used for calculations. We see the equation for the contact area here. The value for D is determined by optically observing the resultant indent measuring the values for D1 and D2 and averaging the two, as we can see in this optical image for the typical Vickers indent. In nano indentation, we typically use a Berkovich indenting tip. Here we see the geometry for the Berkovich. You can see that it is a three-sided pyramid as opposed to the Vickers, which is four-sided. We prefer to use the Berkovich for nano indentation because with the geometry it has, a much sharper tip can be made. With this geometry, it is possible to get the indenter to have a tip radius smaller than 20 nanometers. Here we can see a typical indent left from the Berkovich tip. These two different methods are very useful in their own way. Vickers has been a staple of materials testing for many years, while nano indentation is a relative newcomer. So the question is often asked, how can we compare these two values? The answer, of course, is quite simple. If proper caution is taken, we can easily convert from one value to the other. Luckily for us, the Berkovich tip was specifically designed so that the projected cross-sectional area at a given depth will match that of a Vickers indenter tip at the same depth, making comparisons much easier. If we take a look at these two methods side by side, Vickers on the left and the standard for nano indentation, Oliver and Favre, on the right, we can get an idea of the considerations before we start converting. First, the two methods derive a hardness in a different manner. As I said before, Vickers hardness testing uses the contact area to calculate the hardness, dividing the force applied by this contact area, giving us a result in kilograms force per square millimeter. Nano indentation generally defines hardness as the mean contact pressure, generally in mega or gigapascal. To arrive at this, the peak force is divided by the projected contact area. Luckily for us, as I said before, the Berkovich tip was designed to be directly comparable to the Vickers tip. This includes the strain produced in the material. So in order to convert from one to the other, we must first simply define the way we are determining hardness values in the same way. Let's begin with the Vickers hardness. Very simply, we begin with the definition of hardness, force per unit area, and insert the contact area we calculated earlier. We can make a few simplifications to find that HV is roughly equal to 1.8544 times the peak force over D squared. Now, because Vickers and Berkovich tips are directly comparable, to convert the values from one hardness scale to the other, we simply define the hardness of a Vickers test as we do in nano indentation. So the hardness is found to be the peak force divided by the projected contact area. For our Vickers indenter tip, the projected area is simply d squared over 2. We find that the hardness by this definition is 2f over d squared, given in units of Pascal. Solving for f, we find that f equals h times d squared over 2. We can then directly plug this into our Vickers hardness equation and cancel out the d terms. So now we have an equation for the conversion from Vickers to nano hardness. But as I said before, Vickers hardness is generally given in kilograms force per millimeter squared, while nano hardness is generally given in Pascal. So to make the equation more useful, we multiply by 9.81 newtons per kilogram force, shuffle around a few constants, and find that to calculate the nano hardness in megapascal from the Vickers hardness value in kilogram force per millimeter squared, we simply multiply by 10.58. Here in our NAT lab, we commonly use fused quartz to rezero our indenter due to well-established modulus values. Measuring the fused quartz with our system generally yields a nano hardness of approximately 9.0 gigapascal. If we plug that into our equation to convert, we can see it comes to 850.7 kilogram force per millimeter squared. Reported values for the Vickers hardness of fused silica are generally between 850 and 950 kilogram force per millimeter squared. So we can see that our calculations re yield results fairly consistent with the reported values. Well, that's all for this installment of the BATCO Lab TV. 
We hope you enjoyed and will visit us again. Keep an eye out for more videos covering diverse topics from our lab. If you have any questions about either the methods or the instrument you saw here today, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. Our contact info can be found on our website. And as always, if you're interested in nanomechanical and surface characterization lab services or consultation, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you.